Hello, my inky friends. It's Cindy Lynn with my inky fingers and Mr. Inky Fingers. Hi, everybody. He's the one chatting it up with y'all there. Uh, what if y'all doing today? <laughs> y'all doing today, he said. If you are tuning into the replay, skip forward 10 minutes to skip all the pre show jibber jabber if you would like, or hang out with us because this is where I tell you guys all the fun inky things going on and do i have some do i have some things to tell you today um cheryl lee has a uh, fomo fear of missing out she was here super early tj welcome as inky buddy actually i'm going to welcome all our new members since our last live which are allison bush ali finally got on the inky sink let 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 Words are hard. The Ink Squad bandwagon. Welcome, Allie. And welcome, Barbara and Casey, New York. Anya, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right. Anya and TJ, of course. Mary, I believe it's DeVoe, if my memory serves me right. But I could be wrong. I have been known to be wrong on occasion. I think I wrote it down the last time I was wrong. What was it, honey? March 17th, 1981, I believe. Yes. So it's been, oh, I'm, I'm like, it's getting close here. Okay, Darlene and Stephanie Lougheed, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Ink Clan. And I look at everybody here, Dana, channel member. We got lots of channel members that are joined through the website, my website uh, right up there, myinkyfingers.com. You can join there as well. Hello, Miss Patty OG and Jamie. Hello, hello. Glenna, look at everybody here. Catherine and Sue and oh, my chat just went floop while I was scrolling but I have a lot a lot a lot of things here to tell you guys first thing my clear out I I keep I keep thinking I'm gonna keep certain stamping up things and then I'm like well they end up upstairs I'm like why am I keeping it you would not believe how much stuff I've got to 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 to, to clear out March 19th here in Calgary. If you go to my Facebook page, um, Todd's gonna link that in a minute here for you anyway, but you'll see all of the details there. And I've got I've got Mary wanting to come from Ontario because her, her son that lives here in Calgary. I mean, everybody should put a thumbs up if they think Mary needs to come and visit her son and then come and see the Inky Studio and the Inky Fingers clan over here, right? And I think it's Aggie. Aggie, Aggie, I believe is that's how you pronounce it, um, from Kelowna, wants to make a 10-hour drive to come here. I'm like, let's do it, girl. Let's do it. Okay, I've got my new members. That is all done. All right, and really quick here, Craft for Ukraine. Uh, Creative Fabrica, who I am an affiliate partner with, has a big freebie today. It launched for Crafting for Ukraine. It's the yellow and blue colors, all kinds of things you can craft. There's a download bundle. Honey, can you post the link for the download bundle for Creative Where Fabrica? I can't find the link. Okay, so press F11. Okay, there's your little... <laughs> So you can go over to my Facebook page and that's the same place where you'll see my event for my clear out. But if you can post the um, Creative Fabrica link. So that's on my Facebook page. It's a free download. You don't have to pay anything. But watch for another link today because they have offered you guys through me only a one dollar subscription which everybody can have a one dollar subscription by the way but what you guys get if you go through me actually can you just get the link ready right now for the creative fabrica which one is it called there creative um fabrica. yeah the all access pass i'm going to give it to you guys right now because if you use that link separately from the ukraine download okay and you use that link, you can get, you can have all access for $1, which means you can see my classes I do for them. You can have, there's millions of downloads. You guys have no idea. I'm actually going to show you an SVG tonight that I'm going to use from there. But if you use that particular link, should you choose to maintain your subscription? It's only $19 instead of $29 because you're an inky friend. Okay, so all inky friends get that. Now, I have got a pink and mean $25 gift card up for grabs over on my Facebook group, Card Kit Crafters. Honey, do you want to link the card, 
card kit crafters. So I did a little unboxing there today. Um, I wanted to schedule it. Cold? No, no. What's the top one say? Pencils. Oh, um, no, we need card kit crafters. I don't have I'll link card kit crafters. Not here. But where was I at now? I totally lost my train of thought. Oops. Oh, that's what I was going to say. I, um, I've been having a problem with Facebook Live scheduling, so I wasn't able to schedule the live for you guys. I'm sorry it ended up to be such a pop-up, but Facebook Live scheduling, there's something wrong, and I've put in a ticket two times, so we'll see if they fix it. So I just had to pop up on you guys today. So, so joined Creative Fabrica last week. Oh, I, I, yes, I know a few of you guys did join um, through... If you're an inky ink squad person, I let the cat out of the bag and gave everybody some links last Friday during the Friday free for all. So um, this is tomorrow. To, no, not tomorrow. Saturday is the Stampin' Chat too. Inky Buddy level. So Inky Buddy, Inky Bestie, all channel members get to come to that. So yay, excited about that. I won't be but, here. Oh, Todd won't be here. Yes, because Todd might be going to Red Deer to bid on a yet another car. We have a two car garage that's full, a two car parking lot or driveway. Why do you drive on a parkway, but park on a driveway? That's kind of interesting. But we have two vehicles on the driveway. So we are maxed out for vehicles, but his dream car, a 65 Fastback Mustang, of course, is um yeah, it's going on auction. So he's been watching it and whatnot. So he might be going on Saturday. So yay for him. Um, and on top of that $25 gift card from Pink and Main, I have got on March 15th, watch for it, because before all the guru happened with Facebook, I was able to schedule a live unboxing for the Stamps of Life on that Card Kit Crafters group on March 15th. And they are giving up a $50 gift card. So, I mean, shut the front door. Okay, so... Look at that, we got three minutes. Um, what do I wanna do for three minutes? I wanna talk about class really quick because class, I'm gonna show you guys a picture here. Class, all uh, inky bestie or inky besties basically, get to come to the master classes, okay? And I have got a watercoloring class coming up. And let me tell you, it's not just, we're, I'm not just gonna color stuff and you know expect you to follow along. I'm gonna go through so much stuff, you guys have no idea. I'm so excited about it. And what are the things, one of the things I'm gonna show you how to do is this, okay? You will not believe how easy it is like to get these little striations and things like that. I'm gonna show you how to do this like this and I'm also gonna show you how to do it with no line water coloring. So if you are a member, you are an inky bestie, go to the membership tab and you'll see the class link. In the description there, there should be a link to my blog. And on the blog, it's got a list of things I'm going to use. You do not have to use the things I use, but keep in mind, if you use something different, you can't always expect the exact same results, fair enough. So. There is a list there you can follow. And I gotta tell you, there's some watercolor paints there that have been, they're, they're usually always sold out and they are not sold out right Everybody's now. Everybody's saying that's very pretty. They're on sale on Amazon. Oh. It is super pretty, isn't very it? And pretty. you guys will not believe how easy it is to do this. And you can do it too. So, so simple, right? So, you'll definitely wanna read on my blog all the things that is going to be included in that watercoloring class. We are probably gonna go over the three hours, but that's okay, because there's a replay, and you'll get it forever. If you do not register for that class and get all of the videos, there's five videos for Inky Besties this month, you don't register prior to the class, then you can buy it later. I'm gonna uh, film it and then I'll edit it, and at some point in life, I will put it up on my channel, but, I got, I got some new things. I got, you ever see, I should put a picture. You ever see these sponge dauber things on um, Amazon, you know, or on some of the groups of uh, groups, I mean, some of the websites and stuff like that. Well, Miss Heather Innes came over to see Cindy Lynn on Sunday, we were stamping, and she brought one of these and I was like, eh, whatever, I mean, who needs another sponge dauber, right? And I'm like, mm, whatever. I'm like, nah, <laughs> I don't really need my sponge daubers to have little colored things on them. But, OMG, you guys, I didn't realize these are not sponge daubers. 
these are these in a mini form. Like, shut the front door. This is a game changer. Are you kidding me? And I'm going to show you tonight. I'm going to use them for the first time, actually. This one, I just inked it up just now. I have not used any of them, but I'm going to use my trusty ones. And I know they're out of stock. And actually, a few people did get an order, was able to order these. And I guess Yosang contacted them and said they come in brown. Who cares what color it is? They all work the same. And these are awesome. But... Holly wants to know, I think a main getaway needs a code word. What video? It's on the Card Kit Crafters. It's today. So you can watch the replay and there is a code there. You'll have to watch it to get it. So um, I'm going to show you guys today how to make these. You're not going to believe how simple these are. Um, because I've gone and done it again and I have got something awesome for you guys. And actually, did you see here? I, and I just want to go, I just want to go on record for saying I did blue and yellow because support for Ukraine. I'm aware I'm showing my, my support and whatnot in the colors. This is not the Ukraine flag. Okay. This is just the colors. So when you hear me talk about Ukraine here in a little bit, I know that's not the flag. Anyhow, I have got for you guys. Um, can you get the stencils link here, honey? I need my oh, black my piece Lord. of paper. It's on that thing. Oh. I don't know where my black paper went. Here it is. Okay. Should so I, I, yes, if you would like, <laughs> I have got, and I have to tell you guys, these are now laser engraved stencils. Okay. And I have to tell you these, I am so obsessed with these. So these are two examples. Okay. They're brush stroke. Backgrounds. If you struggle with backgrounds like I do, I mean, I am no Chrissy Colors Crafty, Chrissy Crafts Colory. I don't remember her YouTube name. I should because I watch her all the time and I tell you guys about her all the time, but I can't remember her name. She does the cutest little scenes, beach scenes, winter scenes, all the scenes. I'm not so good at scenes. So if you're like me, I want a thumbs up. I want to see a thumbs up. And don't forget to thumbs up the video while you're there. But if you struggle with scenes like I do, I saw, I think... It might have been my favorite things. I saw a comp, one of them out there and they had like a breaststroke background. I think it might have even been in the retired or something. I don't know, but I was like, I'm on that. I am on that like crazy. So I made this one. So it's just based and I'm going to show you here next to a card. Okay. They'll all fit an A2 size card front. All right. This is the one I'm going to do. And I will show you how, and wait until you guys see my new little trick for cleaning them. Oh, and you guys are going to have no idea. You know, no baby wipes, no paper towels, none of that. You're not going to believe it. Okay, so there's that one. And then I did this one. And I just wanted a few, like if you see here, see the difference in them? I wanted some variation. So when that was done, I thought, well, what if I want to do bigger? Well, I got that covered. I got a bigger one. So it'll do almost like the whole the whole idea, right? And then this one, I was like, how fun would it be just to have the individual strokes and then you can do different things, you know, with different colors or you can blend them or start dark, go light, looks like looks like blush blush blushing strokes on your cards. So words are hard. You like my new little thing up there? I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. I gotta learn where to poke. Right here. Okay, so right beside my head. I got to learn where to point. Words are hard. I'm going to use my Make Art Station, and I am going to pull out, because I'm going to recreate this one for you. So I'm going to pull out this one. And I'm aware that Miss Wendy Venci, Vecci, I don't even know how to say her name, and I love it in the comments. Everybody, like, types out the dictionary pronunciation for things, but it's like... <laughs> When, when you get, when you guys are, you guys are my OGs. You guys know me. <laughs> You're like, I'm not even going to try to correct her because she's always going to say foliage like foliage. And it doesn't matter how many times I tell her how to, how it's said. She's going to say it the way she wants to say it. Right, hon? Yeah, absolutely. Do, do I just do what I want to do or do I, do I have a, do I have a listening problem? Yes. Oh, this isn't the one I want. Wait a second. There's so many. There's so many. And these are a bundle deal for you guys too. And I forgot to tell you. I discounted all my stencils today, 20% off until tomorrow. So now if you wanted both bundles and you don't, what am I doing? And I don't have a listing for both bundles. You can always ask me. Um, I might have actually, I might have, no, this was the one I wanted. I'm like, did I do an extra one? No. You can ask me if you want both. I'll send you a requesting. You can. I don't have the shopping cart business things on my website yet. I'm like, I'm not. I'm not that advanced yet. Okay, 
but I have been taking a lot of WordPress, um, what do you call them, like webinar things, and I think I'm gonna upgrade to the to the checkout cart type thing in Bobber because for channel members, I can do subscriptions on my website a lot easier, so watch for that. But I am going to use Broken China. Actually, let's put these in the order I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna use Tumble Glass, which I just got a refill for, Broken China, which I just got a refill for. Actually, if you put your lids right next to them, you can put your little blenders in your lids. So I'm going to get a light blue out for this one, a dark blue out for this one, because of course I got two sets so I could have light and dark, but I'm not going to show you that holder stuff in detail yet. I'm going to show you what I ordered to hold them in because I'm going to tell you something. While these are awesome, they are a pita, P-I-T-A, pain in the beep, if you want to keep putting them back like this because they've got all these hairs. And you go to put them back, and I'm telling you, you're not going to get every little... I don't know how they do that. I don't know who sits at the plant where they manufacture these and put these. They better pay that person a lot of freaking money because I, I couldn't even. So I put them in a holder. But what we're going to do is... Now, if you look here, I kind of just wanted to convey grass to sky for our cards today. And wait until you guys see... <laughs> in for some you're in for something really cool on these cards today okay they're not just your everyday little backgrounds wait till you see what I've gone and done okay so I'm gonna bring in my green whatever one it is I just said it was uh, mode lawn I think it is yeah mode lawn which I also ordered a refill for because I use these ones a lot and if you have not used these brushes ugh, I don't know what you're waiting for they are so amazing and wait until I show you guys how to clean off this stencil like so easy peasy oh my gosh how high up did I go? I think right about there is probably going to be good. Debbie wants to know where we can get the stencils. Well, Todd gave you a link, Miss Honey, but you can link it again if you like, hun, for the stencils. Okay. So this one here, I want to be very careful because I don't want to get too, too much across the middle that's too, too dark. Like I just want to kind of lay my color down here, get a little bit of a blend going. But I think I'll bring in this one because this is kind of like... This is better. It's a smaller area. Look at this blender. <gasps> this is a million times better than a... Now, my kit.co. See up there in the top corner? Right up, uh, whatever, on the screen. Right over here, okay? Kit.co. That's where you go to find these thingies, okay? They're in the tools section. So they're on Amazon. They're made by Yosang. And I have, I think I now have every single Yosang product that they make, including the makeup brushes. I've just ordered a brand new set of those. But I'm going to use that one there. And then because this is a small line, I'm going to come in here with my green. And just blend that a little bit more. I mean, you won't believe how easy it is to blend with these. If you've ever struggled with blending, it's probably because you're using those sponge daubers. And if you're new to blending or you have a hard time, sponge daubers, there's a little bit of finesse to blending with them, right? So these, you cannot mess this up. You just, you can't. You just lay down and distress oxide. Can I tell you that's one of the big secrets too? If you're trying to blend, if you only have water-based ink, let me give you a tip, okay? Get yourself some shimmer cardstock. Stampin' Up carry some. I have some listed in my kit.co under cardstocks and papers. There's shimmer cardstock from um, Amazon. And the shimmer cardstock, it's it's got this really slick coating on it and it blends like a dream. And it's got shimmer behind it. So it's kind of fun if you're just starting out with blending and you find that you're struggling, go ahead and find yourself some shimmer cardstock. And if you've been stamping a long time, you probably even have some in your stash somewhere. So this is where I'm going to lighten up, okay? And I'm going to apply a, a, a strong finger, a strong hand when I'm in the center. But when I'm going into my green, and actually here, let me zoom this in for you. There we go. Let's put this over here. So when I go into the green, I'm going to soften up a little bit. And then I'm going to bring in my light. And I'm just going to softly blend out that harsh line. I mean, it just takes minutes. If I wasn't talking, I'd be done long ago, right? So, and you can always lift up. I mean, come on, shut the front door, right? Oopsie, wrong color. This one's the light one. Oops, 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 oops. I know we've all done that before. I've done that a million times. Come in with the strong color right over top of my light stuff. 
but look at that simple 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 so these ones oh the, the possibilities are endless with these i want to show you how to clean this because this so 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 simple i was just sitting here thinking about it and i was like there's got to be an easier way than trying to remember i told you guys the last time i showed you stencils i said do not rub baby wipes on them because the little baby wipe hairs get all caught in your and then they want to you know curl your little edges and you ruin your stencils right so do not take a baby wipe to it do not take a face cloth or you know those whatever cloths and whatnot well that was brilliant i just totally ripped that right off with my tape all right so let's put this away and i'm going to show you how to clean this first and foremost let me put these away i'm going to keep a clean workstation so that when wilbur disappears we can find him because Wilbur will definitely disappear here at some point. Well, I don't have a Wilbur today, but they're all Wilburs, okay? All those little insects and animals that seem to disappear after I stamp them and cut them out. I'm going to put my little blenders away in my little drawer so they're tucked away safely here. And these blenders, I'm going to tell you, I'll show you what I did. Um, I know that you, a lot of people can't get these right now, but... Dollarama in Canada have these really cool little thingies and I just you don't even need the extra container in here I just put it in there put a piece of paper down so you can just tap them all in and the nice thing about the piece of paper is after a while you're going to remember which one goes where because the color is there right so that's how I store those little bad boys and then the bin behind it exact same size has all the makeup style ones so let me show you what I'm going to do to clean this so, so simply. And in the kit.co, I have linked for you guys the Nuvo version of this because I am getting it. I cannot wait. This one is the Stampin' Up! version. And the only reason I'm going to, there's nothing wrong with the Stampin' Up! version. And if you have a Stampin' Up! version or you like to buy Stampin' Up!, buy it from Stampin' Up! Nothing wrong with it. The only problem is when people say, what is that? I can't link to it because I'm no longer with Stampin' Up! Oops, water not cleaner you don't even need cleaner you just need water okay watering your spritzer just spritz it because what activates distress oxide you got it water and i'm just using my hand and these fibers are so soft that i'm just going to rub it here and check that out it's completely dry <laughs> completely clean i mean now it will be dry now this one particularly has a little i don't know a little nothing on that side and a little um sun on this side so i always remember the sun is my clean side and that one's my dirty side but look at that where do you buy the clean clean in the kit.co my inky fingers todd can link it for you go to the tools section and you'll see these ones here are the ones i have they also come in the little stand thing but i like those ones so now i've got two backgrounds and what we're doing here <laughs> Maybe I'll color my little guy first. You want to do some coloring? Let's, let's color with Cindy Lynn for a moment before I reveal what the occasion is. Wait till you got, you know what? I guarantee 99.99999% of you are going to be like, I know exactly who to make a card like this for. So I need one of these. I always color with a, and I cut him out. Do you notice that? I cut him out because... I didn't want to run to my brother machine. So because I've cut him out, I'm going to create a little holder thing here for him and put him right down there so that I can color him. Okay. All right. I am going to color him with my new color combo that I came up with E40, E42 and E43. And I was stamping with Heather and I said, Heather Innes, I said, who's late today because she got a parcel from scrapbook.com and she has to go to the post office to pick it up and pay duty. Boo, right? But yay, she's getting her parcel. Um, E40, E42, E43. Here I am. I'm like, okay, be professional. Put all your caps up so everybody can see them, but I'm zoomed in so you can't see them. Anyway, Heather named this Lucky Llama, because I was coloring the llama from a few weeks ago. So I'm going to just come in with my 40. And if you followed my Copic uh, class, which will come up on my website for purchase as a replay uh, sometime, someday, but hopefully not too, too long, 
you'll know that I go from lightest to darkest and then back again. Okay, so I'm just going to bring in and I like these flicking motions. I don't like the harsh lines and I find that they're a lot easier to blend out when you just kind of flick them a little bit. So then I'll come in and I'm going to come the opposite way now, flicking in a little bit back and forth. Blending out that big? color. What's that, dear? Gum arc big. What is what? I don't know. <laughs> Carol. Coloring with Cindy Lynn. Yay! You All really right. Don't want to know, I, have no idea. I don't know. Can you write it down for me, dear? Write down what she said. And maybe if I see what she wrote, I'll understand. Okay, I'm just trying to get a little smooth blend there. Because I want his face down here to all be light and i haven't applied ink here oh gum arabic <laughs> um oh okay i understand it's probably, probably be better to just type that in google and read it because there's so many different things you can use that for gum arabic todd's like what is this word <laughs> am i in view i am okay I know you probably can't always see exactly what I'm doing here either, but um, I'm going to try to go at a decent pace so everything doesn't dry out on me. But I cut them out so that I didn't have to go to the machine. I've been trying to teach how to use the brother, and I do a little tutorial with them every time I go to use it. And I swear I can almost hear the sound coming from his brain. You know, the wah, wah, wah sound. Because he's really not paying attention. And he's really not interested in it whatsoever. So, whatever. So, I'm just going back and forth here, as you can see. Just getting my nice, smooth blend. I take way more time than necessary to color. But... I like I like a nice a nice transition in my colors. And this one, if you're new to Copic coloring, this one is a challenging blend, okay? Because the E42 to the E40, do you guys see the difference in those? It's it's a big it's a big jump, right? So it's a little bit more challenging. So you got to kind of be patient and blend. So now when I come down the bottom here, I haven't applied my marker there, so I just need to come in and just blend out the line of the same color. So now, see how what I mean? He goes from this nice one color to the other. Now down here will be a lot easier, and I'll just, he's, I'm going to pretend he's wearing no pants. That's just his tummy, and this one will be a lot quicker. We'll just, a little bit of shading from his shirt. Now, I have been asked about shading, and I mean... I want to see a lot of thumbs up if you guys would like me to do a follow-up um, Copic class sometime later in the year that will focus on shading and actual just coloring different different things that you color. You know what I mean? If you guys want to see one of those, I want to see a lot of thumbs up. And then I'll know, hun, can you watch and see if there's... Or, you know, if you're like... If you're like, nah, I'm good, just be like, nah, I'm good. I'll go back and watch the, the replay comments too, right? But he's got a suntan. Next month, he does have a suntan. Next month, I believe I'm going to do stenciling masterclass because I am filming tomorrow. I am filming your how to make your own stencils. So that's going to be fun. Now you see there, I just, he's so cute. All right, now I'm going to do his nose. And I think I'm going to do, who knows what I'm going to do on his nose. <laughs> do you know what I'm going to do on his nose? I am going to color it nice and dark. So let's get out our black. And I like to jump down to the C8. And then I like to jump into, let's go into the C6. And traditionally, I teach you guys to only skip um, two, like two, four, six, eight. The six and eight are good. Um, you, the nine would go here, but honestly, your nine and your ten, so you're only really skipping three instead of, a lot of two. Thumbs up on the, the koala. No, that's for that's for um, shading masterclass. Oh. 
Copic Coloring Shading because we did a Copic Coloring 101. So I'm going to have the top of his nose, I'm going to try to turn him around, the top of his nose being the darkest because the sh obviously the sun, uh, the, the light is coming up this way, if you will. Okay, so it's darker up here. You could always do it the other way too and have them darker down here, but I'm going to do them that way. So I'm going to come in. Now I only want to go with my lightest color to where I'm gonna put my medium color. So I'm gonna bring that in and put my medium over it. Then I'm gonna bring in my light again, and I'm just gonna, and I'm just applying little ticks like this, okay? And I'm just kind of blending that in, just, I'm just getting the ink onto the cardstock, okay? Because I'm gonna let the cardstock do the magic by, you know, um, letting it sink in and do its blend. So now I'm bringing that black and I'm only doing little ticks just like this, little bits just to saturate it and get it in there. I'll come back with the medium and I'm gonna do those same little ticks here just to blend the two together so that there's a seamless transition between the black and the medium. And then I'll start at the bottom with my lightest color and just do those little ticks. So now I'll bring it up so you guys can see. Now his nose it's hard to tell on camera, but I can see it in person. His nose goes from dark to light. Now I'm going to show you my favorite color for cheeks, and then I'm going to do my favorite color for the insides of the ears. I, I do the same two colors for cheeks and the same two colors for inner ears, and that's R11 and R... Well, sometimes I pull out R20 as well if you want a little bit pinker, but I like... I find that this is pink pink like makeup, right? And these are kind of like pink peach like skin so I'll show you what they look like there's your R30 and here's your R11 okay so the 11 is the lightest one and what I want to do here really quick because I got a little bit here where I went out of the line so I'm going to push that in and I'm going to quickly grab my dark here and color underneath his little chin 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 there so let's do his cheeks first r11 and cheeks are basically let me just cheeks are basically drawing a circle okay because everybody can draw a circle and if you screw up your circle then at least you can adjust your circle before you color it all in because you don't want to keep adding too, too much ink in that spot because the ink wants to blend, right? It wants to blend and spread out. And if you put too, too much ink down there, your, your little... All right, let me try that again. <laughs> I like to go... My hair, what a mess I am today. I'm so disheveled. I like to go down from the eye and out, okay? So I can't say left or right because it depends on which eye you're looking at. So I'm going to go down from the eye and sometimes you may even... Let me give you a quick tip here too. I gotta find a Copic multi-liner. So sometimes, and do not laugh at you. Laugh at my drawing, and Todd is gonna kick you from the channel and block you because <laughs> I don't draw. Okay, and this poor Copic multi-liner, my nib is ruined on it because I pressed on it too hard. Now I can't even get the thing I'm done. Okay, I'm talking way too much about this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, so there's my circle. Okay, so there's my little eyes. All right, and here's my nose. And there's like, pretend my mouth, <laughs> right? Sometimes what you might want to do, like I'm going to put my cheeks here, but sometimes if you want to make them bigger and do them half, you know what I mean? So that they're touching the outside of this, the, the actual image, that works, especially if the image is turned, right? Then you're definitely going to want to do it on the side a little bit. And then this one would be the full one, right? So keep that in mind. So I'm going to go down from the eye and out a little bit. And I'm just going to do a little circle because I can always make it bigger, right? But I can't make it smaller. So down and out right about here. Go around. That's about good. I don't want to put too, too much ink there right now. I'm going to come in here with the same color in his little insides of his ears. Come in with my R30. <laughs> I give up. It doesn't want to stand up bringing it in from the top just to create a little bit of shading. And I'm only going to do two colors in here for the skin, the insides of the ears, because I don't get too technical with that because that's really not a focal point. So, oops, my lighter one. So I'm going to go one more time just to brighten up those cheeks a little bit. And there he goes. So he is now done. Now, 
for the fun thing. <laughs> this is so stinking cute. You guys have no idea. Down in the description, there is a link for a beer SVG. I know you're probably thinking, what? Beer? I struggled. <laughs> Let me tell you, I struggled with this whole beer thing. I was like, how am I going to do this? Because National Beer Day is coming up on, where is my calendar? Where did my planner go? Oh, it's right here in front of me. <laughs> go figure. National Beer Day is coming up on April the 7th. Everybody knows somebody who likes beer. So I thought, I like beer. here's the thing. Let me, let me just, let me just call a spade a spade. Okay. Everybody is like, Oh, masculine cards suck. I hate masculine cards. I need a masculine card idea for a birthday. I need a masculine. Everybody always struggles with masculine cards. Why don't you just make what makes you happy and incorporate something masculine into it. Okay. Like what I'm going to show you right now. So I have got him and I'm going to pull my tape off of him. And if ever your tape is um, not wanting to release, just hit it with a heat gun. Not like hit it with a heat gun. Well, you could, but then you want to turn the heat gun off and loosen, loosen your, loosen your gum. Okay. So this guy, we are going to put him on this one because I colored his shirt to match the Ukraine color. So he's got his little, his little UK, Ukraine proud little shirt, right? So he's got that. Now I'm going to show you the big SVG first. I don't want you to see them, them, these things yet. I've got to hide things. I'm going to show you this in big version first. Okay. Let me do this on black paper too. So you can really see. And cause I did little ones cause He's really little, so he needed a little beer. But this SVG is so stinking cute for beer. I was like, shut the front door. So when you get your SVG, and if you don't want it, then don't get it. If you want it, you can get it for a dollar, or you can just buy the SVG, whatever you want, okay? But I can't give it to you for free because it, it it's not owned by me, right? It's owned by Creative Fabrica. So the beer itself... If you know how to work with SVGs, I cut it twice, once in silver and once in, this is not acetate. You know what this is? This is the plastic stuff that your products come in, that bag stuff, or like, it's just some cheap little piece of plastic I saved. And then the actual beer thingy I cut out of the Michael's Gold because it's kind of weird textury. If you get the Michael's Gold foil, you know what I mean? And then the other two little things, this here, I got to tell you, if you, oh, I don't need to pick it up. You can see it right here. This here, what does that look like? Looks like a damn little baker's hat. Check this out. You could cut that out of any color and now you can turn any of your stamps into a little baker. Done. Right? Shut the front door. <laughs> as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, it looks like a little baker's hat. So this is what we're going to do. I don't get overly concerned. I use Tombow liquid glue because you know what? I don't really care if it shows through. I'm going to do most of my gluing here on the inside. I'm not going to glue the handle and you don't have to do the clear, but when you do the clear and put it on top, it just makes it shiny like a glass. So again, this is a big one. I'm not using this. I'm using this to show you guys what I did. Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue up the center and then I'm going to put this on like this and it is very slippery. Okay. So keep that in mind. Then I'm going to put, I'm going to put even little dots here. Actually, let's do the bottom one first because then it's easier to see where this guy goes. And I'm going to show you how I did the um, top piece with the vellum so that the glue doesn't make a big deal. So here I'm going to put this and there's a photo, by the way, if you're like, how do you know where to put everything? There is a photo with the SVG, there's a JPEG and a um, PNG photo. So it's not hard to figure out what goes where. So good thing this is slippery because I feel like Julia Roberts at that dinner and slippery little suckers. <laughs> All right. So here, this frothy guy, make sure you put your hat the right way. Mine's the wrong way. Goes this way. And I should have put the hat first, actually, because this one goes up a little bit, but that's all right. Okay. All right. This one. I'm going to put my glue here. I'm going to put a few little dots all around. And the reason why I'm going to put dots all around is because 
when I stick this on and I press it, the glue spreads all out, okay? So when it all spreads out, you're not gonna see it all behind your vellum. And on this one, don't stress about it. You know why? Because froth isn't smooth. Froth is like multiple colors, like a little bit dark here, a little bit light there, so you're fine, you're good to go. And then this one, I'm gonna put it a little bit below where that one is. I'm gonna put this one on here because I don't know here where to put it, right? So I'm gonna do the same thing, a few little dots here and there. Grab my tweezers. And this little guy I put too low. So when you do this, put your froth first and then line that up because I put my little beer part too low there and I don't know if I can fix that now, but that's okay. Can you go up a little bit? No, he's stuck there. He's like, I don't wanna move. Just don't even, don't bug me, he says. Reminds me of Todd. Okay, so there, all right? So again, when you put your froth, put your little beer bottom up against your froth so you don't have a gap. You don't notice it here, but I, and I tried to move it so you can see my glue down there, but I have some really good ones I put together here for you guys, okay? So I have got, where'd the other one go? I'm supposed to have three. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, this guy, you ready? Here he is. There's his little beer. I mean, are you kidding me? Come on, he's too cute. I just love him. Okay, now, sentiment. We are gonna do, oh, there's my other beer. Cause I've got another card that doesn't have him with a beer, okay? I need my sentiment because the sentiment here, forgive me, I have to have something to drink. I talk so damn much, My, I get dry, I get parched. Oh, I got to tell you something, Miss Karen Munson. If he buys a car, he cannot say a dang word about any of my UPS, FedEx, Canada Post, or Amazon boyfriends that like to bring me gifts. He cannot say a word about it for at least hey, the rest of the year. I get one thing, you get one thing. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, one thing that equivalents the same no, amount of money. No, 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 no. <laughs> that equivalents the same amount of money? Use your words. Okay, I need some quality time with you. Uh, Cheers, <laughs> right? He's got the beer, I mean, come on. Come on, it's too cute. All right, I need some quality time with you. Let's get this out and let's get out. I ordered the big one because I'm struggling with the little one for some things. So, and how is it? I don't know how this happens. This was like so beautiful and shiny and brand new like a week and a half ago. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to make sure I do everything to keep it like that, all pretty. And now it's like, it's all dirty and stuff. I'm like, ah, I can't even keep the damn thing clean at all. Oh, well. Okay, so we are going to emboss. I need some quality time with you. Do I have some black here or do I need to go get new black. I think I need some new because all my pieces, oh, 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 no, I got one. I was going to say all my pieces are too small. Well, that was really brilliant, Cindy Lynn. Maybe you should have put the, oh, maybe you should have put the paper before you put the stamp. There, it's just a thought. I mean, you know, it's not like I've done this before. All right. Am I in? I'm in. Okay. So, I did, by the way, if you saw one of my... That's not allowed when you're in the inky studio, Mr. Fluffalicious. Serious. Who's Bella? It was Bella. Okay. I did get the Ranger um, Ultra Fine, Super Ultra, whatever you saw in my unboxing, it's there. Um, I don't know if I've linked it down below. I, no, I probably did. It's probably down below. But I got it, and let me tell you, I love it. And the thing that I like the most about it is it, it doesn't, it sticks to everywhere just like every other embossing powder. It doesn't matter how much you beat your little bossing buddy on top of it and how much powder you put on here, you're always going to get hitchhikers and stragglers. That's just, that's just the way it is. That's just, the, thems, are, thems are the breaks. It's part of card making, right? But one of the things that I like 
this is what I was after. This is what I was looking for when I bought an embossing powder. And in case you're wondering, the uh, alabaster white is back in stock at scrapbook.com. But, and you can find a link to that in my kit.co under my favorite shops. But this one, what I was looking for, and I did order the alabaster white because I want to see what the hype is all about. But this one, what I was looking for was when I put it on my Versamark, I want to see that all my Versamark is covered. So th this Heather and I got talking about this and her teacher explained to her something in, when she was in school about marbles and water and, and how much stuff you can put in something. And I was like, okay, this is how I'm going to explain it. When you Versamark and you create that watermarked image, okay, imagine your embossing powder is marbles, all right? How many marbles can fit on each letter before there's going to be gaps, all right? And that's the problem with most of the embossing powders out there. I want a thumbs up if you're following me, okay? When you put your embossing powder on your Versamark and then you just notice that you can see behind, like through all the marbles. Well, my thing was, I gotta get rid of the marbles. I need something more like dust, okay? Like you we need- marbles? I lost my marbles. They're oh. just, they're gone. So I got, I don't have the eye for some reason. I don't know what happened to my eye. It's not there. So what are you doing? Petting the dog. Todd has ADHD and it's been what? 37 minutes. Oh, excuse me. You came 10 minutes early. It's been 47 minutes and now he's like, okay, I need something else to do. So he's going to play with Bella. <laughs> Hun, didn't you take your medication today? Yeah. Okay. So back to what I was saying. What I was looking for was something more like dust. And while this dust does not, um, not stick everywhere, what I like, and I'm going to pull it right up so you can see it, is focus. See that? Do you see the coverage? Like it is white. That's pretty. White. Thank you, Ranger. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so these. Um, I like to wet these before I do this, but this is just the facts of life, and this is why I emboss everything off screen so it's already done for my stream because I'm going to tell you something. I secretly judge. I do. I secretly judge. When I look at that gorgeous Instagram card and I'm like, oh my God, it's so pretty, and then I see all the little white hitchhikers and the artist was like, oh, I'm just going to emboss it anyway. I'm like, oh, I'm so judging you. I love your card and I love you, but I'm totally judging you. I know you guys do it too. And if you don't, uh-oh, you're going to do it now. <laughs> I've, I've totally started a new thing. And if you're one of those where you're like, oh, I'll just let it slide. I'll let a few go. Oh, I'm going to judge you, honey. I'm going to judge you. So basically, oftentimes you just need to kind of move them a little bit. And then they fly right off. And there's me. I pick them up and I wipe them on my shirt. And then if I do miss some, I come in with a black marker afterward. And I take them all off. Or I cover, I color them all. You know how I use the white to color in my, color my mistakes when I'm coloring with Copics? Well, I do the same thing here. And I did my, my other one. I embossed it off screen. So... This is the time it takes, right? See the things we have to do, honey, to make things perfect? You missed a spot. I would like to see you do this. You know, I think that, I think that, okay. I think that Todd needs to host a fun reasons to make cards night. I think so because it's too much time in between my birthday and then my birthday when it's Todd makes a card for me or as you guys would say Todd makes my card but I tell him how to do it <laughs> but nevertheless okay so I don't know if you guys know but I got a totally Tiffany heat gun I'm telling you totally Tiffany I haven't looked to link it yet but Catherine judges herself the most <laughs> Audrey, I'm ADHD. We're all ADHD in some way, honey. Don't worry. Pull up a chair. Rachel agrees with me. Do you see that? No, she has to see. See, when I need to be agreed with or 
feel like I'm important or I know things. Wait till you guys see what I learned. I did not know how to do something on my next card. I'm going to tell you guys about it too. You're going to be like, what? You didn't know that? I'm like, nope. I didn't know that. I did find that this gun, it needs three hours to heat up. Because if you don't heat it right up, it bends all your cardstock to high heaven. But I like the color, so I'm willing to work with it a little bit more and see if... You really got to go back and forth with this too because, yeah, it's just the heat gun. I mean, I am used to the Stampin' Up! one, which I love. But again, now, will you look at that? Look at it. I got a little... Oh, maybe it's not... I got a little mark that I'm missing. One tiny little bit here on my M. Oh, no. So here, see my M? I'm missing ooh, a little bit right there. But have no fear because you just bring out your Secura gel pen. And if you've followed me for any length of time, and this is not in your stash, you are not a self-respecting inky friend. You should always have your little, a little bit missing there. There we go. Okay, so. I need some quality time with you. I just put some stuff on that, so I'm gonna set that aside to dry. And I'm gonna set this aside, and because I have my laminated acetate, I can put this here and close it, even though it has Versamark, it won't dirty up my mat. And I put a Cricut mat in there, by the way. If you're wondering what that is, it's the fabric one. And don't buy the Cricut one, buy the knockoffs. Those are in my kit.co, okay, by the way. Know, is your favorite white card stock still accent? They're in the, those are in the everything cutting. And yes, Katie, it is my favorite. And I have to tell you guys, I might be onto something for accent with Copic coloring. Mum's the word. I'm not telling anybody because I noticed, I noticed you guys, you guys are like out there and you're like, well, Inky Fingers uses this, Inky Fingers uses that. And now I'm noticing all these other little card makers all linking to the accent. So now it's like sold out everywhere and even I can't get any. So I'm like, I'm not telling anybody about my little lead on the Copic coloring paper because we all know accent isn't that great for Copic coloring, but I think I have it solved. And I'm not telling anyone until I test it and I order 2,000 pieces of it <laughs> so that I have it forever. Okay, this one. I wanted to do, you know, brush, water stroke, background, watercolors, brush stroke, whatever, whatever. And I wanted to go from ground to sky because I have got a little bee, okay? Because while that beer is so cute, this bee can be carrying... <laughs> the beer <laughs> i just love it oh i just love it and i gotta tell you guys something about this okay hold on because i was coloring this up and i'm going to show you on another b and these here are just this says okay kimberly thank you kimberly used to be on my team and i was hanging out with her and i was like what am i gonna do because i was looking at the sentiments in here and i'm like you're as sweet as can beer Thanks for beer leaving in me. Thanks for letting me beer myself. <laughs> so, like these are not going. And I'm like, hi, honey. And then I'm like, got beer. I didn't know what to do. And she goes, how about beers to you? And I was like, done. Beers to you it is. But here's where I struggled. And I got to grab something to show you guys. Because if you have one of these and you are like, what the hell is this? Because I never knew. You're going to be like, yay, now I know what it's for. Hold on. Okay, so I said to Heather, I was like, okay, you know what? These little, always wings, I'm always pulling out like a, like a C1 or a, C, you know, and I'm blending my C1 Copic marker just to give it that little bit of gray so you can tell it's kind of like a little wing. And I was like, no, 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 no. I want to do, I want some Perfect Pearls. So I opened up my Perfect Pearls. And I don't know if that happens to you when you open yours, but this is what happens when I open mine. Ugh. You, know, I, you know, I probably do more of it on the floor than I was just going to do this and then blow on it. That probably wouldn't be a bright idea. Let's put this here. Okay. So I was like, okay, now I got out my, my tiniest of tiny paint brushes and I was like, what can I put? Because this, I, as I know that it comes with its own binder, 
I was like, I can't just put it on here because this isn't going to go everywhere. And I wanted it on my beer. And I'll bring it up so you guys can see. I don't know if you can see. Uh, yeah, you can see on the beer and the little wings there. So I was like, oh, what am I going to put there? And Heather goes, well, Versamark. And I was like, oh, well, that's smart. And I'm like, okay, so um, yeah. And then she's like, well, the kit, when you get it, comes with, and she pulls out this thing. She goes, it comes with one of these, and this is like Versamark. And I'm like, oh, because when I saw this, I was like, what kind of gunk is that? <laughs> and you know, you, if you're like me, you never throw away anything. So, and look at this, my little corners are all broken on. I've had it so long. Is it still damp? Oh, yeah, it's still damp. Anyway, I was like, I don't even know, okay, how long I've had that. I didn't even know what it was for. But if you have it, that's what it's for. So basically, you can wet up your little um, paintbrush, okay? And then I'll do this B, and I'll zoom in so you guys can see what I will be doing. <laughs> Kill me. All right, so let's bring this here so I can put it on the block so it's easier to see. All right, about there. All right, so I'm just going to wet this up. And what I want to do... Wait a second, how did I do this last night? Seems like, oh yeah, that's right, like this. And then I dipped it into here, okay? Did you use beeswax? Is, is that an actual question, or are you just no, being I'm a smart just, ass? <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> man, only pick up a little bit, because if you pick up too much, this isn't the brush I used. Where's the brush I used? Hold on, I gotta move my phone. I used... Where's the brush I used? This one. No, it wasn't that one. Oh, sorry, I just hit my mic. Where's the brush I used? What, what, Heather wants to know what set this is again. This one is linked down below for you, Heather. Um, but the problem is the quality time, the, the koala bears. This one is only available at Simon's Stamp now. It's not available anymore over at... Um, I need my refill over at um, my favorite things because they're sold out but I need my refill here hold on I don't remember how I did that last night so this is how I'm going to do it I honestly cannot remember what I did last night so I'm just going to put a little dot actually I don't use that so I'm going to put my little dot on here because then it's not wasting it okay then I'm going to pick up a little bit here pick up a little bit here and then I'm going to color it in, okay? And if you use a very fine brush, these are in my tools in my kit. Um, but if you use a fine, fine brush, then you don't have to worry about it going everywhere, right? So this makes it stick. So I was like, who the hell knew? I love it. I love it. I love it. So let's do this guy's beer. Pick some up here. Oh, I already did his beer. <laughs> Never mind. I already did his beer. Okay. So, there you go. Who knew? First mark. Perfect pearls. E. That's got to be noisy. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Get rid of that. Ranger. Perfect medium. Alrighty. Now, you can go to the side. Now, we shall put our little thingies together. Let's cut our little sentiment up and put our little cards together. I think I'm going to emboss, or not emboss, but I'm going to do a... Um, framing around the outside of these now quick tip for you i'm gonna grab a piece of white cardstock and show you a trick and if you've been around here for any length of time you already know the trick but this is my this is my little thing when people join uh the zooms <laughs> and they're muted so i'm gonna use this because it's the only white thing i have here near me i'm gonna line my sentiment up here let me show you this way <laughs> on screen. I'm going to line it up here and I'm going to line my white paper up like this. Okay. And I'm going to line that sentiment up right along here along that white so I can see exactly where it's going to cut right like that one. And then I'm going to do it again. Line this up in my mini trimmer. And line up the I need some right like that there we go it's hard I'm like am I seeing straight here it looks like it's crooked how do you line it up on a white piece of paper and not get it straight Cindy Lynn and now I'm gonna get really brave 
And because I took the guard off of mine, right? Because hopefully now that I have these things, it'll, that it'll get those before it gets my finger, right? Okay, that looks about good. All right, there we go. So there's our little sentiments. We shall put these on. I need some quality time with you. They're too cute. When they're gone, they're gone. So I didn't know that they had been retired. How do you keep track? I mean, if you make videos, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, tell me how you keep track of all your inventory and what's like still current and what's not. And I guess that's why these girls kind of stick with the same company instead of like all different companies because then they're able to kind of keep track of, you know, what's new, what's not, what's available, what isn't. So let's put all our little dimensionals. So we shall put these little foam Apparently dimensionals. We have 170 people watching. Ooh, aren't we popular? I don't know where you see this, but I, that's what it says. That's fantastic. Thank you for letting me know, Heather. 170, that's concurrent. So at the same time. Where's my minis? I, I know I have minis because I had them out today. Um, there they are. Because I was making cards for the pink and main kit. And I made three cards for you guys in my unboxing. So stay tuned for that. I think that it'll either be Sunday or Tuesday. I'm trying to um, get out the how to make stencils for you guys because I really want to do a stencil master class with all the fun stuff so that we can really go slow, break it down, how to use all the mediums with it, how to blend, all the different things you can do, all the things you can add to all the mediums you can put on there and, you know, stenciling master class how to layer your stencils, use multiple stencils, all that good stuff. Yep, 187. Oh my gosh. Somebody somebody turned on the blue light. There's a blue light special on the Inky Fingers channel. There's a blue light special. All right, tweezers. I'm really trying to stay organized here so that I don't lose everything. So there's our little, there's, if you came late, our little UK, Ukraine proud with his blue and yellow shirt. We colored him up, and these are the brush stroke stencils, brand new. I'm going to see where I want my sentiment before I, I, I think I might have to cut this another time. Hold on. This one, whoopsie, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Don't, Wilbur! Oh, no. Where did Wilbur go? Oh, serious? He's just gone? Oh, there it is. <laughs> They're all Wilbur's. If you know, you know. If you've been here around here long enough, you know. When anything disappears, it's Wilbur. And Wilbur was not the spider. No, that's pig. I thought he was the spider. It was Zuckerman's famous pig. Okay, I need some. Uh, yeah, no. Quality time. I need some quality time. with you oh yeah there we go so let's put these on first i'm gonna go over a few minutes today but that's okay we're having a good time and if you gotta go you can come back watch the replay later but try not to watch the replay until i edit it because until i edit it if you've ever watched the replay and been like cindy lynn why is there like 1200 ads every five minutes I take a lot of those out. Um, I I don't ever get ads because I subscribe to YouTube Premium, but I would be annoyed, bad words, annoyed, if I had to watch eight, eight videos or eight um, ads in a one hour. Oh my gosh, I couldn't even, I couldn't even, I don't know how you guys can, I don't know how you guys do it. You guys have the patience of Job because me, I can't. When I, when I log in to watch my favorite YouTubers, I watch a lot of vlogs. And when I log in to watch them, I want to watch them. I don't want all the ads. I get ads on Facebook and Instagram and everywhere else. So I need some quality time with you. I need some quality time with you. So let's see now. Where are you going to go? Hmm. I think I might sit him in here. I think I like that because I like the staggering kind of like steps 
I'm just doing this on the fly, you guys. It's just, you know. And then I'll do all my embellishments off screen. And you guys will see. Yeah, that's how it's going to go. And then the beer. Oh, oh. No, oh. The beer. Mmm. The beer goes there. He's going to have to go more over here. Yeah, okay. All right. We'll do it like that. So let's do you right now. How do we say that? Let's put the beer on him first. Let's do that. And then we don't get all messed up. Why did I take the things off the back here? Why, why, why? Where's my silicone? If I had silicone, it wouldn't stick. I think I have silicone right here. Silicone, silicone, silicone. I can just hear Heather. I know where everything is in the new studio. <laughs> okay, let's put a little dab of glue here so we can get that tacky and then I can put his little beer on and put him on and in the meantime we'll just put these guys on all right so beers to you I'm going to cut the strip here off the end because these are all usable one and two one's going flying and that one hopefully it's not too long you know these things look so pretty I only got them because I'm doing all these classes for Creative Fabrica and I want to be like, you know, little Miss Professional with all these pretty nails like all the big girls have. And they're super annoying. Simon Hurley, who is he? Simon Hurley is like awesome sauce. He's a YouTuber. He's got like a whole line of stuff. Why? Oh, he's on your channel. Simon Hurley's not here. Oh, that's what he said. Well, Simon Hurley is here. Well, hello, Simon Hurley. <gasps> feel so honored good thing good thing i like simon hurley and i didn't have something bad to say and be like oh simon hurley with all his like lunar pace and everything <laughs> that's too cute simon hurley blessed us with his presence what are you up to on this lovely evening mr simon hurley todd is so cute i gotta show you this is what he gave me he sent me just gave me this <laughs> simon honey Simon Hurley is the guy YouTuber we watch. Sometimes you see him on YouTube. And I'm like, that's Simon Hurley. I said, he's the next Tim Holtz. I said, he's got his own line of stuff like Tim Holtz. Oh, okay. I get it. That's what I said. That's what I said. Well, like I said, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. I, it's a good thing I like you. And it's a good thing that uh, I don't talk crap about people, right? So... Welcome, welcome. Did he say what he's doing on this lovely evening? Just watching lives while he works. Just watching lives while he works. It, it never ends, does it, Simon? Work never ends. We're always, always, always working. It's so funny because I'll be down here stamping. And sometimes I'll be, you know, chatting with the girls or Cheryl Lee or whoever. And Todd will be like, what are you doing? And I'm like, working? He was like, gives me the look. No, I really am working, honey. I really am making cards for videos. So I was going to um, die cut these with the little, you know, roundy round the edge thing. But I guess now maybe I'm not because I forgot. So our beer. Let's put our beer here on our little koala. I don't know if that's going to work. I might have to put them at the same time because it's not quite tacky enough in this beer. Beer's heavy. This is like a whole pint, dude. So let's put you down right about there and we'll just make it work, okay? That's what we'll do. We'll put them there and just make it work. Move you guys. And there he goes. Let's go up a little higher, right there. Making it work. We'll start like that. All right. All righty. I'm just like filming videos, it never ends. <laughs> Well, your videos, it seems, I, I have to have a chat with you one day, Simon, because I swear, when I watch your videos, I'm like, ugh, your editing just seems so fluent. I mean, I've got, I've got an hour and a half, two hour video that I'm trying to break down into like, you know, 12 to 15 minutes. And I'm like, that's Simon. He's just, he just does it so fluently. And your mom, I got to tell you, your mom's adorable. I like your mom. I'm on, I want to see thumbs up, everybody, if you know who Simon's mom is. And if you don't know who Simon is, you need to click his little name and go subscribe to his channel and give him some love because Simon's got a great little channel. All right. There we go. Oops, I don't even have my with you on there yet. So I need some quality time with you. Beer cards. Me and Key Fingers is new to this. 
YouTube subscription for the win, 100%. 100%. Absolutely. Absolutely. Best investment ever. Okay, let's get... Oh, I already glued that. I was like, why is that stuck there? There we go. Let's get some little dimensionals on here and get these guys on. And then National Beer Day. Who are you guys making cards for? Who are you making beer cards for? And you know what? You don't even need to make a beer card for National Beer Day. This could just be a because card. I mean, how simple are these? And these new little stencils, what, what? You're going to see me using these a lot. There we go. Last one. Bada bing, bada bam. Get a little Laura lingo going on in here. So our little B, our little B is going to fly right about there and just carry some beer. So I will embellish these little bad boys. And well, I was going to tell them something. What was I going to do? I was like, right after I'm done putting these together, I'm going to give you guys 10. Look at Carol with the thumbs up love. I love me, my Carol. Um, your next video is in two hours and you have to, your next video is two hours and I have to edit it down. Yeah. Two hours. That's a lot of time, Simon. Well, thank you for visiting me tonight, Simon. I feel, I feel so honored. I feel like, I feel like I'm starting to just dip a toe in the like big boys and girls like sandbox. So that was really nice for you to come by and say, Hey, so I don't remember what it was I was going to say if I was Wilbur, such a bad influence. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, are you kidding? You must be talking to somebody else. I don't remember what I was going to show. It's gone. But oh, well. I, I usually remember after and then, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll give it, do it on Facebook. So I'm going to put these together and you will see these on the thumbnail and show up on Instagram. So don't forget your little four pack set of stencils until tomorrow, only 20% off. So I will see my inky everybody, ink squad, every channel member on Saturday at the Stampin' Chat and then on Sunday is the watercoloring class. And if you came late, I'm going to show you really, really quick before I go. Huge watercoloring class. And you guys will be doing things like this in no time. Okay. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So until I see you guys again, do you want to say goodbye, Todd? Bye, Todd. Bye, everybody. <laughs> I'll see you guys. Take care and happy stamping.